Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another one of our Wriggle and Rhyme videos. This is the last in a series of five we're going to do for this term. And once again, my name's Heather. I'm here with the Matamata Piaho Libraries. And this is my helper, Anthony, who's going to be showing us how to do some of the actions today. Alrighty. So today's video, we're talking all about developing language, self-esteem with songs, rhymes and finger plays. So this is a great one to get some ideas of some activities you can do with baby at home while you're having some cuddle time, baby time, oh, pardon you. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit today about what you can do with books when you're reading together with your little babies. So we're going to start with our hello song. So nice big smiles, get ready to wave and sing hello. Hello, nice day, pleased to see you, pleased to see you too. Let's run, let's play, I will talk to you, I will talk to you. We can dance and sing, we can jump and swing. Watch me laugh and poke a face, now we're friends. Come and join us at our place. Ah, oh, kia ora and welcome. We are going to start with our familiar rhyme. This is one that we do every week. Um, helps you get familiar, also helps baby get familiar with the routine. <coughs> oh, there we go. So like each video we've had so far, we're going to be doing round and round the garden. So opening up baby's hands and telling them Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, and I tickle you under there. Alrighty, now repeating on the other side. Thank you. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, and tickle you under there. And the reason these familiar rhymes build self-esteem is that babies get confident, they know what's coming, they can expect it, and thus they can enjoy it more. Oh, baby, you're a bit talkative today. We're going to do our Kinna Kinna song now. So getting those fingers out, ready to go. Kinna Kinna Feke Feke Ika Ika Tuna Tuna Pippi Pippi Pawa Pawa Kai Moana e yeah. <laughs> Good fun. Alrighty. So, some of our familiar rhymes we're going to start with is this little piggy. So, we're going to get toes if you've got them available. If it's um, got the booties or long pants on and you can't get to the toes, then you can also use the fingers. So, we're going to start with the big toe and it goes like this. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy ate roast beef. This little piggy had mum. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. And like we do with all of our rhymes, what we do on one side of the body, we do on the other. So let's do that one again. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy ate roast beef. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 wee, wee all the way home. Ah. Alrighty, we're going to stop there now and we're going to talk about stories with baby. So here's another one of our lovely books here in the library. Lots of colours, lots of things going on, lots of things to talk about. So we're trying to get 10 to 15 minutes of reading each day with our baby, getting them to explore books and see what's going on in the world and developing their language. So with our books with babies, what we can do, we can read the words on the page, like change starts with planting trees. But then we encourage you to get in and explore the page. What can you see? Is that somebody holding a shovel? Yeah, and they're wearing a hat. Oh, I like their red gum boots. I wonder what they're going to do with that shovel. Things like that. So talking, exploring the page, 
uh, especially with your babies once they start getting vocal with um, talking somewhere around the two-year-old mark or after, maybe you can start with the I wonder questions. I wonder what's going to happen next. I wonder what they are doing. And as you're describing the pictures, thinking about the colours, the shapes, any noises that things might make, and explore each page as you go along. Also with babies, what you can do is you can open the book a little bit, um, not with Anthony because he doesn't have the control yet, but if you open the page a little bit, put their hand in and ask them to turn the page. That gets them used to experiencing the book, what it is and how to look at it. So we give our baby plenty of time to read, looking at each page, developing the language by exploring what we see in it. So I'll let you pause the video for a minute, find a book at home and have a great read with your baby and we'll see you again in a minute. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the story with your baby too. We had a great time. Alrighty, and don't forget, you don't have to have all the books at home yourself that you buy. At the library, anyone in the Matamata Piako district is entitled to a free library card. So come down, sign up, and you'll be able to borrow up to 50 books at a time on your library card. So there's plenty of board books here, picture books, um, and other books that your baby and you can explore at home together. And once you finish reading one, bring it back and you can get another for a couple. Alrighty. So I'm just going to go through a series of familiar rhymes, ones that are easy to sing yourself at home and get baby familiar with some language. So our first one is Incy Wincy Spider. So getting ready to make our spider and it goes like this. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine to dry up all the rain. So the Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Another one, uh, we did this one earlier as well, is two little dicky birds. So get our little birds up, tweet, 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 tweet. Two little dicky birds sitting on the wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Tweet, 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 tweet. All right, another one of these is where is Thumpkin? And it goes like this. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. And you can do it for Thumpkin, and then you can repeat it for the other fingers. So for example, where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. And you can do it also for the other fingers, tall man, ring man, and pinky. But we'll stop there for that one and we'll get on to our next familiar rhyme, which is, oh, open, shut them like this. Open, shut them. Them. Open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them them, shake them just like this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And another one we can do, it's kind of a marching one for the older kids, but we're going to do it with Anthony's legs. And it's like this, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> Just like that. And another part of developing language, especially in the little babies, oh, 
is naming body parts. Developing a sense of the body, naming the parts of the body as we sing along. This one, we can do either head, shoulders, knees and toes, which you might be familiar with. We're going to do the Māori version, which is Ma Hunga Pakehiri. And again, there's a few different versions of this, depending on which words you use for eyes, and head and other ones. So we'll just go along with the one that we've learnt here at the library. Ma hunga pakehi we puku hope wai wai. Ma hunga pakehi we puku hope wai wai. Ma hunga pakehi we puku hope wai wai. Tari pakehi hua ha e. One more time. Let's see how we go. Ma hunga pakehi we puku hope wai wai. Ma hunga pakehi we puku hope wai wai. Ma hunga pakehi we puku hope wai wai. Taringa fatu ikua ha e. That is your tinana, your body. Lovely. Alrighty, our last one we're going to do as a familiar rhyme is another lovely one to get to know your body, and it's a bit of a nice love song too. Oh, bless you. And it's Tony Chestnut. And it goes like this. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. That's what Tony knows. Ah, and I think we're going to come up for a cuddle now. So that's the end of our action songs and our familiar rhymes. What we're going to do now is a little bit of bubbles. So if you've got some bubble mixture at home, you can get that one out and blow along with me. I'll get Anthony to have a look at the bubbles and I'll sing you our familiar bubble song. And it goes like this. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere, gently floating through the air. Floating down without a care. Bubbles, bubbles everywhere. Can you see those bubbles floating down on you? Oh, wow. Bubbles are fun. And if you're having fun with the bubbles, just pause the video and keep blowing and catching and reaching and touching those bubbles. Alrighty. So last familiar rhyme to finish up our session, and that's going to be twinkle, twinkle. So we're getting our twinkle fingers ready. And this is how babies know that we're almost finished. Although if they're really finished and they can't handle it anymore, you can just stop there. And it goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mm coming for a cuddle you're kissing that one thanks for joining us for this video again remember we do have our wriggle and rhyme sessions on in person in the libraries in matamata they're on a tuesday morning at 10 a.m and in modernsville it is on a friday morning at 10 a.m so come on in and join us check our website for any further details otherwise it's time to say goodbye to you goodbye to anthony and hopefully we'll see you again for some of our other videos so i'll get out waving him ready to wave goodbye, just like this. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you and you and you. It's time for us to go, but there's one thing you should know. Goodbye, our Riglin Rhyme friends. Other hand now. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you and you and you. It's time for us to go, but there's one thing you should know. Goodbye, our Riglin Rhyme friends. Ah, goodbye, Kakiteano. <laughs>